Ahoy! This is Zdenka. I shoot stock since 2007 and I have roughly 12,000 images in my portfolio. You are looking at my stock shoot plan for my next lifestyle fitness photo session. Plan which will maximize the potential of getting the most out of one single shoot. Today's video might be very helpful for those who are contributing to stock with photos, videos or both. I'm gonna show you exactly how I prepare for the shoot, how I prepare my shoot plan. And you might consider hitting the subscribe button because there will be part two where I will actually take you with me to such stock shoot. Then I will show you how I edit the photos, how I do the keywords and all that. Yeah, actually there might be more parts to this. It is fall, colorful season started and it is literally screaming to take the shoot outdoors to do lifestyle fitness session. There are two reasons why I prefer doing shoot outdoors. Number one, stock buyers love lifestyle sessions because they are more real. Number two, stock buyers love also sessions on a white plain isolated background in the studio. but. It takes much longer to edit the photos to retouch them properly, so I personally prefer to do simple outdoor shoots. The next shoot I am doing is fitness and health. I've shot fitness and health many times before, um, so I'm quite experienced in it and also I'm quite an active person myself, so I feel very comfortable in that setting. I would not shoot something I know nothing about or I don't feel comfortable because I could make a lot of mistakes. For example, a photographer in the past took photos of a doctor looking at x-rays like this. Well, the photos didn't sell because doctor would normally look at x-rays like this against the light. So it is very important you pick a theme you know everything about so you cannot make these realistic mistakes or bring a professional to the shoot so the person can supervise and overlook the whole process. Once I am set on the theme, next I usually choose a location. And I am looking for a location which offers a lot of variety, uh, shows season like right now. So I'm looking for something where are trees with leaves, a lot of greenery, where I can see the fall, the season changing. And also I'm looking for a location which is quiet. So there are not too many people because I will be doing a lot of video as well and I don't want them in a background. I don't want to be always constantly making sure there are no people in the background. The location I have in mind for this shoot is just south from here. It's on the beach and it has big beach. Also, it has a lot of trees, so it kind of looks like woods from certain angles. Then there are stairs. Uh, there is a little lake where we can do some yoga shots. There is a running track, perfect for fitness, and also a basketball court. So this location offers a lot of variety. And when you are choosing location, make sure the background is not way too busy. Stock loves simplicity, simple. So something plain and simple, very easy backgrounds are always the best. We have a theme, we have a location. Let's pick the right model. And that is very crucial. It's very important you pick the right type. Now, I have over 100 models in my database I photographed in past for stock. And there is one model, his name is Peter, which is what I call a fitness perfection. He will be absolutely ideal for fitness and health shoot. You want someone who truly looks the part. And he is also an actor, so he's a very good actor, actually. So he can give me absolutely any expressions I need. The shoot will go very quick. And since he is a professional model, this is going to be a paid shoot. I'm not going to disclose how much he's gonna get paid because it's just not fair towards him. And models have their own rates depending on their experience. Sometimes photographers have their own rates. They pay to models as well and it's up to the photographer and the model to go either way. 
I have my own rates set for stock shoots. They're very well thought through to make sure I'm not gonna lose the money. Now, since this is a paid shoot and I'm gonna have quite a bit of an expense already, I have to make sure I have a very solid plan and very strong shot list so I get the most out of this shoot. And if I don't have that certain type of model I'm looking for in my database, then I create ad and I post it all over social media and all over the places on the internet. I always make sure I do a proper casting. I never just grab a random person. And again, when you are choosing a model, choose appropriate looking model. So for example, if you are shooting a chef in a kitchen, you are not going to grab most likely 19 year old, super skinny model. You need somebody who looks like a real chef in the appropriate age category. So when I thought about fitness and health, I grabbed Peter because Peter looks like someone who goes to gym all the time. That person looks exactly like a fitness model. I am not going to choose someone who is just starting out going to the gym or who is kind of halfway there. I'm not going to choose somebody who is the opposite of fit. Those images simply would not sell. Wardrobe is equally important when it comes to stock shoots. I am going to ask Peter if he can bring any wardrobe he has at home, which is fitness looking like appropriate for this season and will fit in the background very nicely. So whites, grays, beige, creams, maybe blues or red, which could pop. I have to also make sure there's no logo or no prints on the wardrobe, especially when it comes to video, that would be very difficult because I cannot show them in the photos or in the footage. The ideal time of the day to do outdoors lifestyle session is either early in the morning, shortly after sunrise, or so just mornings, or later in the afternoon until sunset. But in my case, I'm very limited with my time. I can only work between 9 a.m and 3 p.m. So I'm going to aim for 9 a.m. till 12 noon. That's Those are my only options I have here. I generally keep the shoots shorter, maximum three hours, because I get tired after three hours and I lose concentration. And the same goes to the Peter. I usually find, looking at the models, that after three hours of very intense shoot, they are starting to lose that spark in the eyes and they start to look pretty tired. So I rather do few short sessions than one huge full day session. In those three hours window I have for the stock shoot, I would love to get 50 to 100 amazing photos and 50 to 100 amazing videos. Can this be done? Yes, it can with a proper shot list. And I'm actually thinking I might get even more out of it. Um, it takes a time to create one proper shot list, the one proper shoot plan. But once you actually create one, you can save it and you can reuse it for the future shoots. You can just add few things to it or remove a few things to it. As you will start selling photos from that shot list, you will see what sold and what didn't. So you can just kind of uh, change it as you go. So what I usually do, I go to Shutterstock and I look around. I see what the images are selling right now, what's popular. I'm looking at the colors, I'm looking at the poses, I'm looking at the way the images were created, I'm looking at different themes. Just get the feel out of what's out there right now and what's popular. So I'll type, in this case, fitness, men, outdoors. Very general term and see what comes. Then I click on some images which would fit the theme I am planning on shooting. To help me expand my shot list, once I click on the image, I click on same model images to see the full set. Here I can get the feel of different possible poses, angles and all that. Here and there I save an image for my reference if I get stuck. Visual references is always the best, at least for me. I also send these sample photos to models so they know what wardrobe to bring. And let's use my own photos from past I took of Peter two years ago, I think. So let's click same model and here is the full set. So let's go ahead and create the shortlist. Let's start with the big 
five. Number one, full body showing off the location. Number two, action shots. Number three, expressions. Number four, body parts. And number five, props. So let's look at the first one. Full body showing off the location. And I'm going to shoot the same way, this, with the same angles, all the other stuff. So I usually shoot the person standing up, sitting down. Then I shoot from the front, I shoot from the back, I shoot from the side, I shoot from above, and I shoot from below up. Let's look at the next group, and that is action shots. And here I'm gonna create another list below action shots of all the actions he can possibly do. So it can be just standing around, relaxing, looking around. It can be yoga, it can be stretching. So neck, torso, arms, and legs. It can be a whole bunch of exercises he's doing from push-ups to sit-ups, all that. It can be running, it can be jumping, and it's usually the shots when he's jumping from rock or something like that. Uh, looks very, very nice. On a track, he can be showing appropriate start or he can be showing finish line. On the basketball field, obviously, he can play basketball, so shooting at the net or just dribbling, all kinds of stuff there. And again, all these action shots will be shot from all these angles I mentioned before. Let's move on to another big one, and that is expressions. And here you can create another big list. So it can be just a calm, relaxing expression. Then it can be happy, maybe over the top, just kind of like a winner style happy. Then you can show frustration and anger. And the last one, in pain. Sports injuries are quite common. And when it comes to Peter, he can do any expression. Just look at this one. Let's move on to another big one body parts and here you can shoot maybe just the head with shoulders and then you can shoot the whole body without the head it's kind of unknown and stock loves unknown then you can move on to shooting arms and hands so arms on the hips arms resting down hands doing something tying shoes or maybe on the ground during the start and then let's move on to legs so legs stretching legs running then we have feet just showing off the shoes just walking, running. The last group we have here is props. And uh, you can prepare a whole bunch of things. Like I'm going to prepare for this shoot, bottle with water. I'm going to prepare basketball, maybe a towel. He can show towel as he's sweating, obviously running, doing all sports, uh, phone, headphones, and maybe a watch. Now, once the file is organized and printed it out, it looks like this. The first section I call the variations. All these variations will be shot for each action, expression, pose, I have listed below. Well, I calculated 24 different shots and if I shoot them in all different angles and different variations, then I'm gonna get over 100 photos. And the same thing is for video, if I'm gonna do them um, actually, in just regular 24 frames per second speed and then also in a slow motion, I'm gonna probably get even more than 100 files. Now the question is, can I shoot all that in three hours? We shall see. This shot list will help me not to waste any time whatsoever. This shot list will help me maximize the potential of getting the photos and videos I need to actually sell successfully. Now the plan is finished. All I have to do now is send email to Peter where I will include date, time, location information, with possible photo if I have on hand, compensation, in details what he's getting out of this, I will include shot list. I will also include sample photos which I saved from Shutterstock where he can see the theme and what wardrobe he needs to bring. So I will include a list of wardrobe for him to bring. I will ask if he has any of the props, but I will prepare what I have myself here as well. And if that will be a new model, then I would also send information about what stock photography is, where the images could be possibly used, and copy of model release. Now, some models do request copy of model release because they just want to read it, and that should be respected. 
The proposal I'm gonna save and also the shot list for future use. And you can absolutely do the same thing with female models and groups of models. So you are saving yourself a lot of time. Just place it in your archive and pull it off pull it out whenever you need to. And you can absolutely shoot this with any type of camera, even smartphones, they have a great gimbals these days. So you can build your passive income literally with any camera. Well, I would be very thankful if you would hit the thumbs up button if you liked today's video, if you got the information you were looking for and subscribe to all future videos like these. Remember, uh, there will be actual videos from the shoot with Peter. If you have any questions, comments, or simply want to say hello, you can do so in a comment section below. You know I read it all and I always try to respond and I will see you, all my friends, in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.